recently. Okay, what we're going to do here today, we're going to uh, show you the process of, uh, of digging a tree. And what we have here is a 9-inch nine, nine caliper uh, cathedral live oak. And um, we've got, I want to show you the extra irrigation that we put on the tree two or three weeks prior to, uh, to digging it. And we root prune the tree a couple months ahead of time and then we put the additional uh, water on it before we dig. So, move this irrigation line out of the way. Is, uh, Anna Mae will bring the, uh, the spade in and wrap it around the tree. And we uh, will watch out that the towers on the spades uh, clear all the limbs and uh, so we don't break anything. Okay, now we'll work on getting her lined up. We want to, when, or when we're finished doing this part of it, what we want to have is the tree in the center of the root ball. So we'll start lining it up this way, and then when she closes these gates, then we'll line it up front and back. These, these two gates will lock and make sure that they get in that slot and lock, which they just did. So we'll look at it one more time out here and line it up.
pretty lucky that way. Didn't have a whole lot of adjusting to do. Okay, so everything looks good. So we'll go ahead and dig the tree. I'll, I'll give Anna May the, the way to go ahead and do it. Okay, now what she'll do is she'll rotate around the, the spade, alternating sides with, with the spades, and put them down a little bit. And then when, the, when the, the spade starts to lift up off the ground, she'll let the pressure off and then go to another one and work our way all the way down until the, uh, the spades are fully extended. Okay, all, the, all the spades are down. Now she'll pick the tree up and uh, we'll go around and, and any any roots that are hanging out of the uh, the side of the of the, uh, the spade will trim off and then also in inside the hole if there's any roots sticking out there we'll, we'll trim those up too so it, the, the basket will slide in. on the outside of the basket. It slows the, uh, the root growth from, from going back to, and the tree getting reestablished into the ground. And it also, when we ship the tree, it'll also help with uh, keeping moisture in the root ball during transport. so they don't get out into the into the rows so when we mow we will be running this over so the longest part in line with the tree. We'll make sure the basket's nice and flat and sturdy. Pick out all the, the seat belt strappings in the hole. next process is just dropping the, the tree back into the hole. And when she, when she drops 
that tree back in, she can pretty much do it by herself, but I'll stand on the side of the of the spade just to make sure that uh, um, that the tree's straight before we start bringing the blades up. She, she'll take the, front, the blades up a little bit and, and rotate all the way around the spade so it's done evenly. They're all, up, all up and she'll raise the, uh, raise the spade up a little bit and unlock the, uh, the front gate. back the machine up and then what we'll do we'll take the burlap and we'll roll it up and put it around the the uh, the outside of the, the root ball and keep that out of the way. fine-tune it. What we'll do when we get everything set back up, we'll, we'll turn this irrigation zone on and then make sure that uh, we get nice even coverage around the, uh, around the root ball with the irrigation. But that's it and what we'll do now, we'll, this tree will stay at least six weeks to eight weeks in the nursery before we move it. And what we're trying to do is it's going to go through a uh, hardening off period and uh, the first first week or so, week and a half, we'll, we'll give this tree a lot of water. And then if it's going to go in any kind of shock or anything, uh, we'll be able to tell that by the leaves. And if everything looks good, then we're going to start weaning it off the water. And you do that to uh, encourage uh, root growth. If you keep giving it a lot of water, the roots have no incentive to go looking for it so they won't grow. So we go through that whole process here in the nursery. And um, we don't ship this tree, like I say, it's six to eight weeks, but we also want to see root growth coming out of the out of the root ball. When we pick that tree up and take that liner off, there should be nice, fresh, new roots growing out of that burlap.